within a very short period of time. How do you feel about it now? I don't know, I might have just turned into like exclusively a tea drinker. Look at how much weed in that have in the field where I didn't pick all those beans. Now what we're going to do in the mill is the mill is literally going to strip off this outside protective layer to find the bean inside. You know, we'll never really understand what the quality of the bean is. There comes that rain I was trying to get us in for. Until the beans are stripped of both of those layers so we can judge the bean for size color and potential damages. So this is where green bean coffee comes from. Do you have any idea as a farmer and a roast master how often people say, green bean, you strip it off the tree green, you throw it in the roaster, right? Oh no. So much more work goes into a good cup of coffee. So the, I put it back down on the trees. I mix it with the cherry pulp. It's part of my mulch material. That's what I was standing on out there. All right? Uh, this is pumpkin. I've never seen a cat lay around with ever amenities of civilized life like this. And I mean, a lot of times he'll sit up and leaning up on the building like a little old man sitting. I've never... Now, his brother's name is Boo, and he usually hangs out with these black and white and short hair. You'd never know they were brothers unless I told you a pumpkin was in one of his boys' positions, so I thought I'd... People of all ages and sizes pick. These guys are lean, lean, Chocolate. 
kill this guy with shotgun.
trying to convince you that all dark roads are all bad. I just want you to really be smarter than you were an hour ago and realize that all that cheaper coffee that's on your store shelves that's left too dark, it's just lower quality grains of the commodity. And they're masking its imperfections with roast quality, making it sellable. I see it all the time. The effective beans that you end up with after the sorting process, do you do anything with those? Just go into lower quality grades of coffee. You sell them off to uh, other companies. There's a lot of companies that don't have their facilities. You know, if it doesn't qualify for prime, then it's considered Hawaiian. Mm. Be leery of those Hawaiian flavored coffees. Okay. okay. Well, so all the rules and regulations that you have, are they put in place by the state of Hawaii or is the U.S. government? You know, Washington, are they involved in that too? Who comes up with the rules and regulations you are uh, being held to? Department of Agriculture, I don't know. Who oh, okay. is there a hierarchy? Is it some, some big fat cat or is it me and you? <laughs> Just curious if yeah, I like a good dark roast coffee too, but I, I don't think that most people understand the specific action of those profiles. I know I didn't, but now that I understand coffee in my own body more as a more mature person, I've learned that in the morning when our palates are open and sensitive, medium roast coffees can be downright sweet and delicious on the palate. You know, you really can taste the sweet, subtle qualities of the beans and all that caffeine that you need to get your brain and your body rocking in the morning can be there in that first cup. But you know, later in the day when you've exposed the palate to other food choices, salty, sweet, spicy, smoke and alcohol are all things that can desensitize the sensitivity of palates. So darker roast will be richer and bolder and more full of flavor. And those palates, and you know, the carbon that's in a darker roast can actually be a quite effective digestive aid. That's why they offer us dark roast coffees on the dessert menus. Because they know that the carbon in a dark roast is a very effective digestive aid, but a dark roast coffee can actually have up to 40 percent less caffeine than a medium roast coffee, so it's less likely of keeping you up all night, like a medium roast milk. So experiment with it for yourself, okay? Just very much like red wine with some meals, white wine with others. I know I'm guilty. I used to drink a lot of dark roast coffee out of the site tubes at my health food store because I like the bold flavor of dark roast coffee. But I used to get some pretty intense abdominal feeling as a young person from those first cups that I just acquainted with as natural to morning. Now I enjoy medium roast and I don't have that discomfort. Carbon's way too much on empty bellies. You really got to have some food in there with a darker roast or that carbon can be irritating. Do you know how many people I've met who really believe that they can't drink coffee and the fact is they can't drink over-roasted defective beans? A lot of those defective beans can actually have little molds and toxins on their broken edges, the reason that the palates say thick. And what does the industry do? They dark roast them, telling us coffee needs to taste like roast butter to show their milk and sugar and lattes, mochas, caramel macchiatos. But yet they've clinically proven that three cups of black coffee a day is a very powerful diuretic that will push the toxins out of our organs that are responsible for the symptoms of Alzheimer's. What do we see going on in today's population? The waistband of America has grown, degenerative disease is on the rise, and I've learned here in Kona that high quality grades of coffee don't really need additives. I think if we can all be like my grandmother drink that pot of black coffee every day, save the milk and sugar for that scoop of ice cream before we go to bed, we'd all be a healthier population. Uh, most of us are price point shopping the commodity off the store shelves, and so much of it is lower quality grades that really need additives to make them palatable. Food for thought. Now, when I take 30 pounds of coffee, it takes about 15 minutes to roast. You know, medium roast, no chocolate color, no oil showing, matte eggshell finish, distinct tan line down the center of the bean. The longer I roast the coffee, um, I hope you remember this, this color here. This is a French roast where we've got a dark chocolate color. It's more of a medium dark because the tan lines are still present. Okay. I'd end up with only 23 and a half on a darker roast, 24 and a half on a medium roast, and I'll take two five-gallon buckets to contain that roast. That's why this is smaller than this. They roasted all morning. Sorry, they're off already. They're trying to get all this packaged. I'm down one person on a.